slowly. So where do you go? Right there. Guys, that's a gator. Can you see him? The little baby gator. Oh my God, he's moving. And he's gone back underwater. Holy. That's not exactly a first for me. That is the second wild gator that I've come across. In fact, I think three years ago down in the Everglades here of Florida, I also stumbled across one. That was like a big lake that Jackson and I were hanging out in during the daytime. The next morning there was one like up on the bank. I'm like, really? Like that's the time in my life where I realized any kind of freshwater swampy area even in the winter, yes, you are likely to probably see a gator. So I have no, no idea how many are in this canal, but in a place like this, unfortunately for Jax, there's absolutely no way that we're gonna be outside anywhere near the water. Uh, maybe away from the water or something. And again, when I woke up this morning, did the same thing. I jumped from the step of my RV and then crouched down underneath to make sure there was nothing underneath my RV. Uh, just wanted to come out here one more time and see if we can see a, a gator head in the daytime. And of course, I'm not seeing anything now. Those eyes really showed up well on my cameras, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known. I mean, you can see we're 10 feet from the water's bank. I'm camping 10 feet from this body of water here. So um, this little stop wasn't planned either. I just I didn't really want to run the generator at Cracker Barrel or Walmart or anything in Florida. And I do have one thing just to point out. I had forgotten this, but you should know that the state of Florida, all you RVers, state of Florida, you're not allowed to park an RV east of the A1A highway. Like anytime, it's, it's illegal statewide to park, to stop an RV if you're east of the A1A highway, which basically runs runs the course of, of, of the coast. That's really pretty, but you can't stop in an RV. And uh, the last town I was at where I really liked the water, Indian River. It was called Indian River. And I got a knock on my door from a sheriff, a county sheriff telling me that I had to move on before 7 p.m. that night because the city actually has an ordinance banning, I don't like my back to the water, uh, banning RVs, trailers and commercial vehicles from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So if you're in a car, a van, living in anything else, you can stay parked for 72 hours. But uh, an RV, you can't even be on private or city property after 7 p.m. And I, a nice sheriff too, I asked her, she said, no, just go down to this little uh, county park down here. And as you can see, I'm happy with it. The main reason why I'm happy with it is because I'm the last site here. So I have some privacy on that side. I can get some good time lapses and nature shots and stuff and just kind of relax out here. But anyway, got the air conditioning on for Jax. So we're in a safe place where I don't have to worry. Um, so yeah, let me take care of a few things real quick. Then we'll hop on the bike and go explore this area of Florida. Wanna go? Can't go wrong with a little Waffle House to start the day, right? I don't like to miss an opportunity when I see one. I'm stuffed now. And yeah, I, 
I'm still riding around with the helmet, even though Florida is a no helmet required state, you know, and you know, I don't see any helmets, but I care about my head. I don't care if I look goofy, <laughs> protect my head at least. Elbows and knees, yeah, it's just too warm. I know, it's just too warm. I'm a beach bum though, I really am. I need that uh, salt water, or it could be a river or a lake. Don't know what happened to our sunshine. It's kind of cloudy right now. A lot of people fishing over here on the pier. Uh, I'm gonna follow the water up and explore a little bit more of this town. We are in Fort Pierce, Florida. So, go see what we can find. It's funny too, because I used to avoid all the downtown areas. Now with the bike, it gives me a little more confidence. Plus free parking, I mean, pretty much free parking anywhere. Fit. And uh, A1A here is also called the Dan McCarty Memorial Highway. Never heard of him. But we do have some local art here. I think it has a title. Yeah, it's called Blind Date, Stainless Steel by Doug Mixon. And we have a serpent and a hungry bird. I don't think this one's gonna end well though. I can't end well. Hmm. The Manatee Observation and Education Center and Gift Shop. Look at those happy manatees. It's only a dollar to get in here to the museum. All sorts of fishies. He's very, he's very photogenic. <laughs> Good manatee. That little spot there is his mouth, and these are like little suction cups, and that's how he moves around. Oh, okay. Pencil urchin. See him moving? Oh, you're right, he is moving. When he's in the water, something gets after him and grabs one of these. It's his defense. He'll, he'll, he'll come off, he'll come okay. And he's growing more little ones there. He's supposed to have two claws. I don't know what happened, but a couple of weeks ago he lost one claw. But he can still catch. Does he stay in this shell for a certain amount of time and then move to a bigger one? I don't know how long, but oh. we do have bigger shells in here for him, so he will. When he outgrows his house, he'll move. He's, he's the nomad of the sea. He'll call you all and he'll move. <laughs> nice. That's come on neat. out. No, it's not going to come out. Not coming out. Okay. Over here is the striped mud turtle. Right there. Hey, guy. See him? <laughs> He's smiling. Yeah, get your exercise, dude. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to get to a spot where I can get to a better view of this canal. Because apparently there are a couple manatees. So we'll hug the water here see if they'll come up for air. What was that? I don't know what that was. Hard to see because the water is pretty murky. But I was also told that sometimes when the boats get back and they're using fresh water, water to spray off their boat, they'll, they'll make an appearance also because even though they're not supposed to have fresh water, it's like a special treat to them. So. There's one right. Right there, guys. Right there. See him coming up for air? Right there. And then he goes right back down. That's all he needs. He'll be down there for another 10 minutes. Oh, there's another one. Look. There he is. I guess they're just going to take turns coming up. What a cool life, though. If you don't like people, just stay underwater. Come up for breath every once in a while just to make sure the world's still operating, but stay underwater for all the crazy stuff. Oh, they have magnets. There's a gator magnet. It's kind of cool. Oh, and the manatee. <laughs> Y'all know me too good. Palm trees. Coastal, coastal communities of palm trees and beaches just makes me smile. Oh, man. Although, I don't know what's going on here. Gator dredging. It's like a big balloon full of water, and it stinks and it's overflowing. If you were to pop that big balloon full of water, would that be bad? Whoa, check out this artwork here. Fort Pierce made out of road signs and license plates. And if you look really closely, they've even got tools and old scissors 
and, and a hammer down here. That's some of the stuff you, you can't see from a distance. Fort Pierce, Florida. Nicely done, guys. Gosh, what a nice day. And look at this tree. It almost looks like the tree of life in Animal Kingdom. Those roots are just amazing. Wow. Doesn't this almost look like artificial man-made? That's, that's nature, that's, that's pretty, wow. I'm just really curious about this big balloon of seawater here that gator dredging is doing. I mean, I, I know what dredging is, but all, all I smell is seawater. And as you can see, this big 14 inch diameter tube is dredging, sucking stuff right from the water. But mostly water, I guess they're also grabbing dirt. It's weird. I mean, I can only assume that they're dredging the dirt and mud out of there to make the canal deeper. Okay. And don't mind me, I'm just walking down this never-ending trail of palm trees. Beautiful. Let's see, they got some more artwork here in the park. It's like a Native American with his bow and arrow and a big steel horse. Um, I don't know if I forgot to mention, but the, the ocean here is about a half a mile ride from the campground that I'm staying at, so close enough where I can just come out here and it actually doesn't smell that great, so be thankful you don't have smell of vision on YouTube, but it's pretty, you know, so anyway, I'm gonna uh, get back to my campsite. So you did okay, Jax, without me? All right, man. Sorry we can't go outside and play more. We'll get in a non-gator place and then we'll hang out more, okay? All right, man. Also, uh, here are the two magnets I got. I got this gator one specifically for the gator I found in the canal here at my campground, so that's what that guy symbolizes. And Mr. Manatee for the two manatees I saw at the park. So one goes there and Mr. Gator right above him there. I kind of feel bad that I can't take Jax outside as much as I wanted to. But there is a two and a half mile round trip walking trail that we can go look at. So I'm going to go try to find some more wildlife and nature. Good little walk. Oh, and uh, 87 degrees today here in Florida in the winter. Do we see any critters? No, not yet. Not yet. Well, no worries there. I didn't bring any gator kibbles. <laughs> kind of quiet around here. That's okay, though. If you had told me years ago that I would be in Florida in the wintertime needing air conditioning in the RV, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> But I'm not hating, that's for sure. Now this looks like a good tree to snuggle up to. I think it can support some weight. Uh. Uh. If you're interested in staying at this park, by the way, this is Savannah Recreation Area Campground near Port, Port St. Lucie. I probably said that wrong. That's uh, 25 bucks a night. I think it's 20 for tent campers. It's nice. Some kind of big bird over there feeding those two guys. I don't know what those are exactly. Some type of crane, maybe? And that white feller there in the middle of your screen, over there. I keep getting too close to him and then they fly away and there he goes. I don't know. They don't like my camera. Look at the lily pads. It's pretty through here. Anyway, nice trail. Not a whole lot of wildlife. I was expecting a little more. But still nice little trail bonus i don't have to burn through propane in the winter time to run the the water heater in the rv i just take room temperature showers right out of the fresh water works really well check out this awesome shell i found i dug it out of the water somebody's uh transport there they left it i'm staying here one more night guys so i am going to close this video out and relax tomorrow we are expecting some rain in the forecast some hot rain coming so I'll uh, hunker down for that and edit some video for you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.